I'm Michelle from the photographersociety.com and welcome to this week's episode. So this week we're going to talk about how to do IPS sessions, which means in-person sales. So it's not really hard and it's really, really easy to do and to get started. So this is what I'm going to show you in this week's episode on how to get started. Are you ready? So let's dive in. Photographers think it's hard or it's just too complicated to actually do in-person sales and it really really doesn't have to be so these few tips hopefully will get you clear on how to do it so you can get started because I truly believe when I started doing IPS sessions in my business it actually bumped up you know my sales per session so why shouldn't you be doing it right so hopefully these four tips will help you first thing is first always have a booking rundown so when I get a client come into a session I will have a rundown of uh, what happens after their session so they come in with their newborn I shoot um, all the images and they have a, a like a session pack a viewing session package where it has the actual rundown so we'll have today you have had your session Second thing, I want you to go home and think about, you know, where you put your images, how you want to display your images, if you want to print your images, and I explain all sorts of things they can do with their images. And then I tell them, think about and take photos of places in your home, so you can come back and show me just photos using your iPhone or your smartphone, or whatever it is you have. And then, you know, I explain to them step by step what to do. Then I tell them, you know, now you've booked a date for your viewing session, you're going to come back in, we're going to sit down, we're going to view your images. I'm going to show you products I'm going to show you packages and options you have so I'll explain to them like a checklist of what's going to happen in the IPS session and what what they have to do in my case they have to book they have to sorry choose the images then and there they have to select what products and packages they want and then they have to pay in full but if it's over a certain amount I do have other payment options as well so I let them know everything you know what to expect what payments and things like that everything they need to know so I pretty much answer their all their questions and that's what you can do as well so have a session rundown of what's going to happen inside your IPS session so second thing is send them home with an IPS info pack and I mentioned this in um, you know point number one where you know have a pack where you have the rundown in there and have all sorts of information now some things that you can put in there is information about what you have to sell so your products or maybe rundowns of your packages and the differences and maybe something about payment options and what you accept and you know everything that you can make life easier for your clients so when they come in to their IPS session they're ready and they understand they most likely once this starts happening they are ready and they know what they're going to purchase and what they want all they have to pretty much do is just select their images and what they want to get so the third point is follow steps and show it all off now what I mean is you know have a sort of a checklist you go through through a session so you don't get confused because clients are going to be asking you questions and asking you picking up this item and showing you this item and still selecting their images and all that sort of stuff but I want you to stick to a schedule so have a checklist for yourself of what you want what you want to do and how you want to run down and do all that stuff so by that I mean you want to maybe first show images then get them to select the images so it's actual checklist for you so you don't get confused and you don't miss one step that might be vital to increasing that sale so show off also everything in your business so even though during a session you might not have all your canvases out or all your products out but during an in-person sales session I want you to pull all that out and display it like it's a museum so display everything in front of them so they can touch and feel and you know turn things around and see and you know imagine these things in their own home so think about what you have at the moment and how you're going to display it in front of your clients so it's in front of them so if you have it on the wall maybe pull it off the wall and put it in front of them because most likely I found that clients won't go up to the, the wall and touch and feel they think that it's there no, you're not allowed to touch it so bring it down show them it get them to actually 
touch and feel things because that way I find that when people can physically see something and touch it and feel it and understand the measurements and things like that and just you know just have it in their hands it actually helps increase the sale for some reasons probably got to do with something psychologically I'm not sure but I've just found when I pull things off the wall and I show them even though if you can't display it while they're there pull it off the wall show them put it in their hands it's different when they're touching it and they're seeing it right there so this helps increase you know sales it helps them understand if that's you know that product or that package or whatever is suited more for them so um, also you know once they have it there they'll understand you know um, based on you know the previous you know when they've gone home and selected and decided you know read through your information decided what they wanted they know what suits them and what suits their home and what they suits them to purchase for their package as well now the fourth thing is which has helped me so much is show client examples from from previous clients so show them examples from previous clients so you know I love to actually ask my previous clients you know once you've got your prints um, or when you got your album or your wall art please take an image just using your smartphone and send it to me and I always use those images if not um, on my you know website or anything I actually use it to show other people what that product that a previous client would have purchased what it actually looks like you know with someone else's images on there so if I don't have it like I don't have all the samples in my studio but I get my clients to actually take pictures so I can show the new clients of what it might look like so this works so so well because another reason is when they see other clients have purchased this item it pretty much you know makes them feel at ease that yes it's a common item that most people might purchase and then they feel you know that they sort of made a right decision to purchase that item as well so it works you know it works in your favor too and you know uh, your previous clients love to show off their images and their products in their home so it's a win-win but you know the new new clients love to sort of you know instead of them feeling like you're selling it to them when they see it on other clients walls and in their homes they feel at ease as I said before so hopefully these four tips are going to help you to do IPS sessions remember don't be afraid it's really easy and as you keep doing them you get better and better at it and you notice what to tweak and what to add and you know what steps to remove that you really don't really follow or don't need and you know how to increase your sales you might add new things in there along the way but practice makes perfect so I want you if you're not doing IPS sessions and you feel like you need to increase your sales get your your clients to come back for an IPS session an in-person sales session so you can increase your your sales because even though if they've just booked a, a session with digital images get them to come back and view their images in your studio and get them to select because most likely they'll end up buying something once you show them what you have to offer so I really hope you enjoyed this episode remember leave me a comment below and let me know do you do IPS sessions I'd love to know and how much how much have you seen a difference from online galleries to in-person sales. I'd love to know in the comments below. And remember, we have a podcast. Go search the Photographer Society Business Podcast. But if you're listening over there at the moment, head on over to the blog, yep, backwards, and leave me a comment. And let me know, have you done in-person sales before? Um, and yeah, how much has that helped you in your business? So again, I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Until then, take care. Hey, it's me again. I wanted to let you know about a free training that I created for you if you're stuck on how to turn your inquiries into bookings nearly every single time because I've discovered these three things that I need in place in my own photography business and when I've put them in place, they've started to work. So I want to share them with you in this free training. All you have to do is go to the photographersociety.com forward slash training and enter your name and details and you will be emailed that training right into your inbox plus all the other details that you need along with that. But it's a free training and I'm going to take you and discuss with you three things that you need in place inside your photography business and one particular strategy that's going to turn 
every inquiry, if not right away after they've inquired into a booking and build a relationship with your clients, then you're going to love this training. It's absolutely free, as I said. So go to the photographersociety.com forward slash training, or if there's a link somewhere around this video, click there and it will take you right there and you can enter your name and details and get access immediately. So it's no um, live, it's no um, um, automated webinar, it's nothing, you get it straight away right into your inbox. So go there and check it out.